satisfy your need for happiness through your own curiosity with the Ranveer Show. How did you feel as a player about all these mega auctions? Because hated it. Hated it, right? Hated fans it. hate. Mostly fans dislike it because it breaks team culture. So more than that, no, you're treated as a commodity, yeah, Ran. And each of the teams make a whole lot of money every year from the IPL. Like it's, I think their revenue is is massive. If you compare the amount that the players make compared to the revenue that teams make. Yeah, players in the total make a hundred crores. What's earned by revenue per team every year is in th- thousands of crores. Mm. And to be one is to live within that disparity, when the cricket and the quality of cricket is what is bringing in the money, right? To live within that dis- that 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 realm of re- disparity, while at the same time being treated as a commodity, it's not a good feeling. Mm. It is not a good feeling. It's it it, and your uh, level of significance is dictated by how much you get sold for at the auction. So if if you're unlucky and you're not sold, oh that means you're not good enough. That is not f- true. Not true by any sense of the word, and it's such a deeply frustrating aspect of. of the IPL i wish it was a more respectful uh method there there was a more respectful method of actually conducting you know players being distributed to different teams a draft is a very nice way a very de- respectable way of de- you know players going to different sides do you think the IPL will ever actually adopt this nba style model i hope so i truly hope so uh, because if uh, otherwise Uh, we'll reach a point of stagnation and then we'll go to devolution we will devolve as 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 uh, because it's if if you're stagnating after a point then you're you're not evolving man you're just going backwards the draft in the nba is such a beautiful system exactly where the bottom teams get and the first and we are the most picks. cerebral people in the world like i i'd say we are more brain than brawn than the rest of the world right and when we have the way with all why aren't we exercising it mm. and that's my thing we can like even within that draft system we can take that draft system and make it into such a beautiful hybrid that it serves everybody the players the teams the franchises the um, you know the the bcci everyone it can serve everybody the whole ecosystem just so that uh, the cricket fans who are not familiar with the nba understand what the draft is basically uh, the nba is the professional version of basketball then there's the college version of basketball and the top college athletes every year enter the draft the teams that finished at the bottom of the nba choose from amongst the top guys from the college level therefore there's a kind of an equilibrium maintained within the nba as in teams will go into growth the quality teams. yeah the quality remains the same in a sense you know and they can do that say i heard talks about eight retentions that all the teams want great have your eight retentions and then teams that do last give them the first pick of the top players yeah mm You can do. You can actually just create. Like lit, I'm sitting here, r- random thought, right? You can literally do that, and you'll create a, a much more even Stevens kind of, uh, you know, uh, what uh, draft? And, From a fan quality. perspective, it's very frustrating to see only four players are retained, and then your favorite players go to like these other random. Yeah, players. I hope. I hope, and I truly hope that it changes, and I hope it moves to like an eight player retention that would make us much more, and that would actually be a much more solid core that can have longevity and. time with a with a franchise and i truly believe like a lot of these scouting you no know, scouting players who are scouted like mumbai indian scout kkr scout csk scout um, all of these teams that scout rcb all of these teams that scout you no know, they should have first right of refusal with these players because if you've scouted someone say for example ankrish raghuvanshi mm-hmm. ankrish raghuvanshi who, play, who plays for kkr was discovered here 4 years ago right he was literally kept under wraps so that nobody sees him and that's the only way kkr could pick him right you shouldn't go to stealth mode for the hard work that you're doing like that shouldn't become a part and parcel of of the way of you exercising good picks that you've actually made discoveries that you've actually made you should have that first right of refusal to say okay i'm not going to use him so you can have 
based on your the composition of your team and all of these things just take a little bit of thought it's a thought exercise that will land you to that space and then you place it but that's not done there's too much momentum with the old systems of the ipl and we yeah, are yeah and we 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 don't like breaking away from it we don't and it, it takes a long while for even for i think even for t20 to happen here the ipl to happen here apparently the ipl is ready in 2000 the concept was came concept came alive in 94 95 apparently and was introduced was was spoken about for the first time in 2000 but happened only after the isl happened in icl icl happened mm. sorry so the icl happened in and then that propagated this whole movement did you follow the icl a little bit no no right okay. no because at, at that point i was too, i was young i was what 17 18 and uh, at that point because it was banned by the bcci and i so wanted to make like and i know i was i was already in the bc the system I didn't even pay attention. If you enjoyed today's clip, make sure you check out these curated playlists that we've made especially for you related to the subject that was spoken about in this clip.